Today the video is going to help you a lot, saving much time and energy during the SAT reading test. Even if you are already scoring high in reading, watch this video and get an extra boost. Here we go! There are 10 questions per passage for the reading section in the SAT. It's fine to solve questions one by one from 1 to 10 in order, but here's a better method. Before you solve a problem, always skim the next question. Why? The SAT utilizes this type of question very frequently in reading, which serves to provide the best evidence for the answer to the previous question. This prompt is often included as many as two questions per passage. The basic rule is this. When you see this prompt for the next question, stop solving the current question and solve the next problem first. I will explain why. When you solve a question that says which is the best for the answer to the previous question, it kindly gives you a correct answer to the previous question most of the time. Let me show you with a sample SAT reading passage. This one is from the practice test number 3. The first passage is from the Schwartz Medical Method Fiction published in 1911. And the question number 3 tells us the passage most clearly implies that other people regarded the Lady Carlotta as. Before solving this question, if we skim the next question number 4, we see that the prompt is which choice provides the best evidence for the answer to the previous question. It will probably take a long time to read and identify the related elements in the passage when we solve for question 3. However, because the question Question 4 is in the same context of question 3 and the choices give us a specific line that can be inspected. We can gain the understanding of the correct context of question 3 by solving question number 4. Let's leave question 3 for now and go over the choices in question 4. We are going to analyze how each choice gives us information about other people regarding Lady Carlotta. Option A, lines 10 to 14. Certain of her acquaintances will want to give her plentiful admonition as to the undesirability of interfering on behalf of a distracted animal, such interference being none of her business. Here we can see that others are willing to criticize Lady Carlotta for interfering with none of her business. In other words, Lady Carlotta is a Karen who loved being nosy into other people's lives. And this is precisely the answer of question number 3 as well, where the first choice is other people regarded Lady Carlotta as outspoken. Outspoken means blunt and straightforward in criticism. So you can see that as you solve question number 4, you can answer question 3 as well at the same time, which saves you tremendous time and energy. Let's continue reading other choices to confirm that they are incorrect. Option B, lines 22 to 23. It is to be feared that that she lost the friendship of the ultimately rescued lady. This sentence does not tell us how other people regard Lady Carlotta. For this reason, we can eliminate B. Option C, lines 23 to 26. On this occasion, she merely lost the train, which gave way to the first sign of impatience it had shown throughout the journey and steamed up without her. Just like option B, C does not give us information about others regarding Lady Carlotta. Eliminate C as well. Option D, lines 30 to 32. She wired a vague non-committal message to her destination to say that she was coming on by another train. Option D also does not tell us about how others regard Lady Carlotta. Eliminate D. We are left with option A of question 4 and can answer confidently that A is the correct answer. And now we solve for question 3. We already saw that other people are criticizing Lady Carlotta for interfering with none of her business. The only choice that fits the description is option A, outspoken which means direct and open in criticism. Other choices are wrong, as tactful means thoughtful, ambitious is not the case here, and unfriendly is a tricky one, but if you carefully read the sentence in lines 10 to 14, it does not talk about Lady Carlotta being unfriendly. Maybe you could feel Lady Carlotta is unfriendly because she is criticized for meddling with things that are not her business, but be careful not to choose a choice unless the passage explicitly tells so. So the correct answer for the question 3 is option A. I've demonstrated I will you how to solve two reading problems in a row. This method will surely save you lots of energy and time, so make sure to practice it. If you found this video helpful, smack the like button and subscribe to this amazing channel. See you next time. <laughs>